and welcome to Symphony Storytime, where we get to share two of our favorite things, music and books. I'm your reader, Shalonda Sims, and joining me today is a friend from the Organ Symphony. Hey everybody, my name is John Greeny, and today I'm gonna be playing percussion and timpani, and they sound a little like this. Thank you, John. The percussion and timpani will be our instruments for today's story. The snowy day. Let's get started. The snowy day, written and illustrated by Ezra Jack Keats. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Then, he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough, not yet. So he made a smiling snowman and he made an angel. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. Those sound effects were perfect. Well, I'm out of time. Thanks for joining me. John is going to send you off with some beautiful music. See you next time. Thanks so much, Yolanda. Today, I've been playing these percussion instruments. This is a timpani, this is a djembe, these are bongos, conga, and a suspended cymbal. I'm gonna do a little improvisation for you guys.
Hey everybody, welcome to my home studio. Come on in. So I play full time with the Oregon Symphony and this place is where I do all my preparation for rehearsals and concerts. I even do some recording as you can see right here. Come on over this way. I spend most of my time at my desk studying scores and listening to recordings and marking up my parts so that I'm ready for rehearsal and for concerts. Come on over this way. Do you guys remember what instrument I played? That's right, I played percussion and timpani. And as you can see here, we have some percussion instruments and we have the timpani. The timpani is a big drum made out of copper and it has a drum head that goes over the top. Now look at this pedal right here. This changes the pitch and the tone of the timpani. So watch when I hit it with this mallet, I'm gonna move the pedal. That way I can play certain notes with the orchestra. Pretty cool, huh? Now, I hit my timpani with timpani mallets. You wanna see where I keep my mallets? Come on. I'm lucky enough to have a great big closet to store all my percussion stuff. Come on this way. Check out all these drawers with all these different mallets. Each mallet has a different sound. So for example, this mallet is really hard. This mallet has this felt on it, it's really soft. And they make different sounds. I keep my music organized in here and a lot of my tools that I use to fix the timpani. Okay, great, let's go back out into the studio. Now, as you can see, I have other instruments in this studio as well. I play timpani full time with the orchestra but I also play a lot of other percussion instruments on the side. I have marimba, xylophone, we've got a vibraphone over here, and even for fun, I like to play guitar and drum set. Do you guys know what instruments you wanna play? Keep watching Storytime and they'll give you some ideas. Well, thank you so much for coming to my studio. I hope you all had a great time. Bye now.